and the last stage is to put the solar cover over the top. Again, this is for a 12 foot pool, so it's slightly too big, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be absolutely flat on top of the water, it doesn't make any difference. So, this is now going to sit till this afternoon and it's going to heat up because obviously the sun's rays are going to go through the solar cover and be absorbed by the black plastic on the bottom. It's going to heat the bottom of the water, which is going to rise to the top. And in theory, you're going to have the convection current of water working to heat most of the water. Now, you don't have to have bright sunlight, but obviously that's the best because it's the strongest, because it's all about light. So the brighter the light, the more the pool's going to heat up. But it will also work when it's high cloud, but obviously if it's thick cloud and not as bright, then the heating of the pool is not going to be that great. So when you first start, obviously you've got tap water, maybe it's probably 16, 18 degrees at room temperature. So when you first start putting this on the first day, and it's a nice sunny day, it may go from say 18 degrees to 25 degrees or thereabouts. Then the other trick is keeping the water warm, because it's one thing heating it, but if you don't keep it warm at night, then you're going to lose all the gains you've had in the day. So, at night, what I do is I take all the covers off. Um, I put them all on top of the water, so the black then goes back on top of the water because it's been taken off for swimming. Then I put the solar cover over the top of that, and then I put a tarpaulin over the top of that. I actually put a lilo between the top solar cover and the tarpaulin because then you're getting a bit of a insulating layer. So the following day, if you've had a decent day on the first day and say it goes up to 25 degrees, you might lose two or three degrees overnight provided it's not a very cold night. So the day two you're starting with maybe uh, 22 degrees and you do the same procedure and you might go up to 27, 28 degrees if you have a nice day. So you're going up in stages and then you can continue like this and obviously add, if you have a nice warm patch you can then add a little bit more water. And the best time to add the water is first thing in the morning and then the sun can do its job and then you can get the pool up to say halfway but it's probably not idea, not a good idea going too much beyond halfway because if you have a few cold days then the temperature is going to drop right back down again. You're starting from scratch and then if you don't have two or three good sunny days in a row the water's not going to be warm enough and you're not going to use the pool. So this is all about just being practical and having a pool you can actually use rather than just look at. So it does require effort. In the morning you've got to get the plastic, the black plastic to the bottom, put the bricks in to hold it down, put the solar cover over um, and there's not a huge amount of effort but it, if you don't do what's required in the morning then you won't be swimming in the afternoon. So I generally leave the cover on until mid-afternoon on the first day or two and swim after that but as the temperature comes up if you have a nice couple of weeks of warm weather then of course you can swim earlier because you're starting from a much warmer temperature each morning and that's all you do. As far as the filter is concerned you won't be able to use because the water is not high enough you can't use those um, the water nozzles on the side of the pool all you do is you just put the filter pump over the side with a lead weight over it so that it sits inside the water below the water level and then it can work as normal and then of course it can just pump it straight back in through one of the other um, nozzles on the side of the pool.